Well, David, for an illustrious keeper like yourself, what does it mean when Portsmouth won the FA Cup? Winning the FA Cup? Wow. The... I keep saying this to people. The winning the cup was uh, one of the highlights of my career, with regards to achievements. But with regards to the the meaning, um, I think you have to look at the day after when we went to South Sea Common. Two hundred thousand people, um, two hundred more importantly, two hundred thousand Portsmouth supporters, which was, I think, the the population of Portsmouth, essentially turning up to celebrate what was a major achievement for us. Um, and in context, if you know a team in London to won the cup, whether they get 200,000 people, whether or not the whole, the whole community would turn out to, to celebrate it, and it was that moment that really sort of stamped the uh, the understanding of the the value of what we did on that day in 2008 it was magic. For a goalkeeper, that whole FA Cup must have been manna from heaven. You conceded just one goal. And it was a deflection off Herman <laughs> against Plymouth. Yeah, um, it, it was it, it was the strangest, the strangest, I would say, cup run that I can imagine. Because um, you know, even the third round where we went to Ipswich, it was a pretty boring game. I think um, Nugent, John, uh, David Nugent, scored the goal, and at the end of the game, Ipswich had a flurry of chances to maybe get the draw. Um, as you say, the goal that we conceded was deflected against Plymouth. We had to come back from 2-1 to beat Plymouth. Um, then Preston, you know, fortunately I saved the penalty. And whether Herman wants to claim the goal or not, I don't know. But I, well, actually I do he know he wants to claim it, the goal. Yes. Um, but, you know, a last minute own goal, Herman goal. Because um, even then it was like, it was, it was a, a horrible day. It was cold, the pitch was really, yeah, live on, on BBC. And uh, I remember seeing the clock or the, uh, the board going up and it was like, we're going back to Fratton. Bang, own goal. Wow, we're through. Um, I'm trying to think who we played after that now. Man United. Man United, United, yeah. United straight there. And then <laughs> the draw comes up for Manchester United and it's like, OK, the cup run was really good this year. <laughs> we'll think about the league you know, after that game. And um, Harry came into the changing room, read the team sheet out, the Manchester United team sheet, and it was like... I think the, the fear was that they were going to play a weakened side mm. because then they're not taking you seriously. But they, they put their strongest available side out and uh, then we just knew it was, wasn't going to get any worse. A couple of goal line clearances, um, dubious penalty. I don't know if it's dubious, but Milan was definitely fouled. And even then, you know, standing down the other end, it's like Rio's going to save this <laughs> horribly. You know, in my head, I'm thinking, are you going to get it? Then bang. Um, and then obviously the semi-final with uh, with Carnu, and then the final. And I think the, the weirdest thing about again one of the weird things about the uh, the run was that you know playing Manchester United at Old Trafford, we were firm, firm underdogs. We were essentially out before the kickoff, and having won that, when the draw came through, we became favourites to win the cup. So the the pressure had gone from so sort of no pressure to all the pressure and. Uh, as you say, I keep telling people that you know we had was it six games, six games, five one nils and a two one. <laughs> Not the one for goal lovers, but <laughs> somehow is there more pressure on you when you become favourites and when you're playing the likes of Manchester United? Uh, oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, as I say, I mean, kind of look at the other. I can't remember the other games that, that led towards the semi-final uh, matchups, but. Um, I remember the programme had illustrated on the, the cover, either on the cover or inside, that it had four sides, and I think the um, the earliest or the, the soonest one had won the cup was like 40 years ago, something like that. So it was, again, us being the only Premier League side there, there was a tremendous amount of pressure to to get the result. Um, but I, as I say, I think we were used to a 1 0 win, so that wasn't surprising when we got through. You might not remember, but after that penalty save you made against Preston, you got up and gave everybody a bit of a smile. I don't know what was going through your mind at the time. I can't, you know, I can't <laughs> remember. I was I'd probably happy. <laughs> I don't know who gave the penalty away. It wasn't me, was it? No, it wasn't. No, no, it was, no. definitely wasn't me. Probably so. <laughs> I, actually, I can't remember, but... <laughs> so the FA Cup run as a whole then, it, it, it was special? Spe yeah, I mean, I, I love the FA Cup. It's the... It's the first football that I can remember watching. 
um, yeah, the FA Cup final. So as a kid, I mean, I wasn't I'm trying to think how old I was, early teens maybe. And uh, one, one time I was cutting the grass because I used to uh, a grass cutting job to earn money to buy goldie gloves. And um, I got electrocuted cutting the grass and ended up sitting in the guy's house and the FA Cup final was on. It was a bit of a weird relationship, but I would rather cut the grass and watch the FA Cup final for some reason. Um, but again, watch the FA Cup there, so it's always been with me as, as the, the most important domestic cup competition that anyone can play. If you're from England, the FA Cup is, you know, it's an intrinsic part of any footballer's sort of upbringing. So uh, having played in the final a couple of times before with Liverpool and Aston Villa, to get there with Portsmouth, to to do it the way that we did it and then to win it was yeah that's that's what football magic is in the words of a dickens novel you've seen the best of portsmouth you've seen the worst of it as well it it was it was rough i wouldn't say the worst because unfortunately the worst is is something that it wasn't and when i say portsmouth it wasn't anybody's fault other than people that we didn't really know mm. um and I think it's true today. The fans, 100%, when we were doing well and since Portsmouth have sort of gone all the way down and started to come back again, the fans have been there supporting 100%. Um, yeah, the worst of Portsmouth, that, 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 that brushes over the whole of the club and it, that's not right. No. There was, a, there was a, a minority who put the club in a bad position, but the, the majority are always good. Did it hurt to feel the wheels starting to come off though? In a sense, I wasn't surprised. Um, it wasn't as if Portsmouth was <laughs> was always running in in top form as a football club. I mean, they've been through a few things before, but uh, yeah, the the disappointment was that it wasn't probably handled better. Um, you know, the, losing the the nine points we could have lost earlier and had more to fight for um, that wasn't handled very well. But you know, it's life, and as I say, because the supporters have been there, still there and will always be there, then it's one of the rough times that they have to endure. Um, but it adds more value to the club in, the, in a, you know, an emotional sense. You've gone into Strictly Come Dancing. Any chance of following Harry into the jungle? No. <laughs> I'm saying that quietly now. I'm seeing how Ian Wright gets on. Yeah, if, if, he, uh, yeah, if Ian likes it, I might. No. It's not, not on the to-do list at the moment. It'd be better your soul too much, wouldn't it, surely? Yeah, and Harry won it, didn't he? Did you ever see him winning that? I, I didn't. I, I didn't watch it. I, I was in India, but... Um, yeah, Harry won it. Right, he could win it. Why would I want to follow someone who's already won it? It doesn't work. Uh, I want to do something new. Anyway, David, we should talk about football, not that. Yes. So, anyway, it's lovely to talk to you, and thank you. Pleasure, thank you.